What up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Going against the Ravens today. My first time seeing Lamar Jackson. Let's see how my man decides to play. So, uh, this g gameplay is more, you know, showing the, you know, I think they're saying the meta for defense is man defense. So, I'll kind of show you, what, like, how I was kind of trying to read and play against his man defense. Because he was using, uh... A man defense off of uh, 3-4 bear. So I'll show you when we get there and show you how I was trying to fight against it. I think, the only, I think my saving grace in this game was this guy didn't know really know how to pass. So he kind of resulted to trying to run the ball, establish the run, which I'm kind of shutting down. And you know, if he was able to run the ball, then that was really going to be the game. Just run the ball. But I'm kind of holding him down. When I put him in down in situations where he had to throw the ball, it was just really just streaks off field. <laughs> or run with Lamar Jackson if he can. So I'm, I'm trying to play contain to try to keep him in the pocket. So he starts to run here on third down, and I'm able to bring him down for maybe a yard or two loss. And it's time to go for it. So got the contains on. And I just got to just try to keep him in the pocket. That's it. I've never played against Lamar Jackson before, so I don't know how people use him, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to use Contain for right now and just see how the game plays. So I'm going to try to throw deep here, and of course he doesn't have the best accuracy. And he throws a couple of passes and turns over and down. So here comes the defense, right off the bat. Once I see anybody shift into the line, you got to know it's this man defense right here coming up. So I realize everybody's blitzing. He has to get on top. I'm going to Gabriel on the right side. On the drag. To Gabriel, middle of the field. And they'll bring him down. So that's his man defense right there. Pinch. So right here I'm gonna use the running back. Which he grabs right here. So it's on fourth down. I'm gonna come with the exact same play. But I'm gonna put Burton on the right side, number 80. I'm gonna put him on a drag. So now he has to choose his user. Cause that safety's not playing Burton right there underneath, so I beat him over there because he chased after the running back. So it all depends on what, you know, guys. It seems like the bump works really, really well this year, so you don't want to sit there in the pocket trying to wait for your receiver to fight through the bumps and you get sacked. So he's calling this stuff heavy, like just heavy blitzing. Man blitz. No zone, just straight up man blitz. This right here, I think I had uh, uh, 87 open on the drag, but I didn't look at him. Shaheen, he's open on the drag on this play, but I, I threw it to the wrong button because I didn't know Triangle was my running back. I think it's open right there. I could have scored a touchdown, but I threw it to the wrong guy. So we got third down, and I got him here again in the back of the end zone, but I got an overthrow. And all to my Montgomery folks, people that would say about uh, David Montgomery, he's good, but in this game, he doesn't have the speed, man, take it to the house. You're going to see a play later where I kind of illustrate that. If I had Cohen on the field, I would have scored a touchdown, but because I had him on the field, he got tracked down. It's just not fast. It's not fast enough to get out in the open field and take it away. And this guy right here, he hasn't really tried to re throw the ball, per se. Everything is run, run, pass on third down. Run, run, pass on third down. It's like a real, real predictable game. So let's see. This game send a spy after him. Tries to run. Get over here. Fourth down and 21. I can't believe he's going for it. Why do people like go for it on fourth down off of no huddle? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> it's like you don't even know what defense I'm playing. He's just gonna just go for it. Did you see something that I missed? Cause I don't see anything that I missed. He's gonna force it up here. It's almost like a punt, really, because I intercepted it. But I bring it all the way back. Bring it all the way back where we started. Okay, just bring it all the way right back. He could have just punted the ball. So I'm using a lot of drags out here because of what he keeps playing. Yeah, I gotta set the 
blockers. It was the, uh, the reason why I threw that pass. Usually Robinson, the guys miss a line on the left side. And you know what happened last year? You could like throw it up, but you can't really do it this year because of the reaction of the, the defender. He's still able to climb on top and still pick it off. Like last year, if you miss a line, you can exploit it, but I don't think you can do that as much this year. I did get a touchdown once with Gabriel a couple of games back. I think it was the game I was talking about the on bar. If you watch that gameplay, you see I did that in the end zone with uh, Gabriel because he was faster. Had his defender miss a line, I was able to dash him on top. I was trying to do that again there, and you know, it just didn't work out. Take it back again. You can tell he's struggling throwing the ball. Like the thing about passing is that you gotta like kind of count the defense and look how the defense is lined up and figure out what you think might be open. Right here, I'm using the tight end and my running back, you know, for, to throw. So he has to pick one. He, if my tight end goes on the flat, nobody chases him. I just go to him and let's see if he does. Right here, he chase after the tight end and get the running back. You know, he doesn't really know yet. Although he's not gonna see the play, maybe he sees the play. I don't know. But it's the same thing. It's just gotta. Just, I'm not. I don't even want to trust the wide receivers, but because of stuff like this will happen. Or you could be playing zone and you end up picking me off. So we're gonna do this. Let's see what happens. Comes a blitz again. Pick it up. We got the wide receiver in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago! Still running the same thing. Pass, pass. I mean, run, run, pass. Run, run, pass. I mean, you got to show something. There you go. You got to come out. And right here, see the ball I was talking about? Look, who's number 15? But like I said, this is the first time I'm playing this team, so everything is new to me. I'm trying to figure out if I see them again, I know number 15 is a threat on field. But right now, I'm just weighing my options. And so squeezing when you get them in a the box, that's when they always want to throw the ball. Why don't you start throwing the ball and mix it up in the beginning? That way you don't have all these troubles and, you know. I'm not going to let this guy be freaking run on me. The spy on, we got the contain on. Contain, I don't know. He can run up the middle and contain, so I got to squeeze the line and <laughs> keep him in a box somehow. But I'm trying to use the spy for right now. Because uh, Floyd is pretty fast. I think he's like an 86 speed in the game. So I mean, for, a line, for a linebacker, that's pretty good. It's not good at throwing in the run. Well too. I'm trying to squeeze the line here. Play contain on the outside. I'm going to get a sack. Here's to run. Get over here. So force him to the field goal. Field goal time. I gotta increase my lead. And for what I'm seeing so far, if he doesn't come out of his offensive scheme, he's playing just one run past stuff. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. So I'm trying to run against this front right here. One of the best things you can do is just hat on the hat and just run against it. And I know it's users on the right side, so there you go. Just one guy that he gone. So because I see that, I'm gonna come back and run again. I think that was a flip that guy came through the line and didn't get blocked. So I'm gonna run it one more time. See what happens. And look at what David Montgomery does here. He gets out there. He just doesn't have the speed. Like, look, he doesn't have the speed to get out there. Come on, truck. So he gets struck. He gets struck down. He doesn't have the speed. That was Coleman, man. I, I know I would be gone. And he just can't take it to the house. Same thing here. He hasn't passed my. I haven't passed my tight end underneath here. There you go. So he has to worry about the, the running back and the tight end. And the tight end going on a flash, and it's not going to get blocked. So that's the reason why I'm using this play. And it's just it's like really s s squeezing my my uh, my offense my offense. Because if I come in anything without enough enough blocks, I'm gonna get sacked back there. Just keep sending blitz, blitz, blitz. So I get tossed away. What we got now? We got third down. 
I wanted to do an RPO, so I had to go my audible and switch to RPO. Because he's in uh he's in zone right now. He's not blitzing right now. So I'm gonna switch to audible, flip the play. And I'm gonna run to the opposite side. Because I think I got it. I think Robinson can I mean uh, Gabriel can block that the defender. I can get this guy, which I do. Just a walking touchdown. I audible to that because I saw that he switched to his zone. He came out of the zone. Finally, one of the few times he played zone. And I'm going to exploit it. And in here, I can't predict this. I give cushion and I still get beat over the top. He gets sacked right there. He's going to come to audible and do it again. I just didn't realize. See, I give him cushion and I still get beat over the top. Watch. He catches the guy one on one on the outside. Oh, you don't see. You probably didn't see it. But Buster Shrine, he's playing in the flats on the 30 yard line. He's going to man up that slot receiver. I'm going to watch what happens. <laughs> so he bombs it up deep. Back to what we're doing earlier. The game is still in hand. So I bring Cohen on and try to run the ball. See if I can break free to the outside and maybe I can take it all the way. But I just need to get past that 10 yard mark. Probably been going. Running it one more time. Still this man blitz. Not this time, buddy. Alright, let's see if this will come over for my exact same play. I'm sending my tight end out this time on the out route. He's going to chase after the tight end and he looks to run back final. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep playing that game all day until he switches his defense up. Because I pretty know he's probably... And it's another play I used to beat it too. I just blocked the running back and the tight end and just run comebacks on the outside since it's man defense. Because I have seven blockers now. And we're just going to play comebacks on the outside. He has to choose which side of the field you want to go to. Like both of them will run comebacks. So you can do that too to beat somebody. I didn't have to roll out the pocket. I could stay in the pocket because I had blockers. And he just let your receivers run the out routes. Exact same play. Exact same result. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Trubisky gives to Cohen. Running the ball to waste more time. Take some time off the clock. Take some time off the clock. Did have to use timeout? What are they gonna do? 35, where you going? You take a shot. Oh my goodness, where is he going? And on this play, I let Montgomery go out on the route, and he double teamed Montgomery. So he left the extra rusher to come in and sack me. Because if I left him in, the comeback would have been open again. I kind of figured he would let him go, like, because I've been throwing comebacks, but he followed him this time. <laughs> so he was able to get the sack, which right, is fine. Let's go ahead and make it a two-possession game, and it'll be forced to throw the ball now. Like you got, if you can't keep running the ball, you got to throw it. And I already know what play is going to go to, so I know I got to prevent against. Uh, so I came out in dime. All right, go ahead, join your streaks. Not this time, my friend. Not this time. It's covered this time. Hold on, lucky catch. Lucky catch, man. So I sent a blitz after him. Force him to throw early. Eddie Jackson. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not really trying to score right here. Just run some more time with the clock, get him to burn his timeouts. So this one plays four. I know I'm not going to get any yards, but I'm just running just to be running it. Got to get out of here. Just one of those boring games. Got to sit in the same defense all game. 
just it makes for a really really boring gameplay. Sorry, Ravens fans. This is how he decided to use the Ravens team. So, you know what I can do about that, man? I play what the, what my opponent does, what he whatever he gives me. So I punt the ball back to him, and I just have to start throwing the ball. This time, go to man defense. And just stay man defense. Stay in man defense. I'm not worried about the running back. It's not really going anywhere. Stay right here and I'll play the spy. He's not going anywhere. I'll play the spy. That's it, man. That's all she wrote. Alright, guys. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me one time. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments section. And until next time, fellas, I'll holla at you dudes later. I'm Brandon Gold. I won. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so.